I, I first met Jim in my uh, in-office interview, and I come in to, I was in Truman Edminster's office, and I had met Truman previously, but I hadn't met Jim. He comes in and puts his non-booted feet, like just socks, right up on Truman's desk and just starts talking, and I'm like, what have I walked into? <laughs> Welcome to EHRA. <laughs> my first impression of uh, Jim uh, was, I'm sure you guys all know the movie Toy Story, and he just reminded me of Woody with a cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and a big smile on his face, and that was my first impression of, of uh, Jim. To be able to interact with him, it was always upbeat, very positive, very optimistic guy, and, and fun to be around. First impression about Jim was that he's selfless. He really cares truly about everybody in this firm before. He'll put everybody before himself. You know, every time you see him, the first thing he says is, what can I do to help? Uh, he is the most helpful person. He will do anything to help you. I guess uh, I've known Jim since he, I was six, five, six years old. Yeah, I knew him as kids. We didn't know that we'd be doing this together, but our fathers worked together. And uh, I knew Jim running around. He was just another little kid running around. I, I recall one summer, uh, me and my brother went and took a five-gallon bucket and filled up, filled it up with uh, some crawdad towers, you know, just just mud. And we went into the parking lot and threw the mud at a bunch of cars, you know, the employees' cars and stuff. And when we got home, uh, when my dad got home and asked us uh, what had happened there. We blamed it on Jim. <laughs> he had been out there that day. Uh, it didn't take long for all that to get figured out. Yeah, so I've, I've known Jim for quite a while. Um, I couldn't ask for a better guy to work with. Uh, I feel almost a, a brotherly contact with him than boss and employee. I remember when he was born. <laughs> Jim's my first cousin once removed. I've seen the guy grow up. We have long, long, heart-to-heart, -heart philosophical discussions before we got together. And it was not just his dad, me and Jim, but also just Jim and me. And making sure that we were on the same page. Jim's leadership uh, is one by example. He's, he's, ne he's rarely negative. And that and that that helps. You know, you want a leader that's positive. You want to you want to believe that we can get through this. So you just say, okay, well, if Jim thinks we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine. He has definitely left his mark on this, his legacy here with his, you know, do the right thing, own your work. I think Jim's leadership style has a lot to do with our family atmosphere, right? Because he's got that kind of this aw shucks kind of way about him that really endears people. And and I think that creating that atmosphere even though we have grown over these over his 25 years my 17 years we've gone from you know slightly less than 100 people to almost 200 right and we still have that family feeling and i think that's just because of the way jim is his demeanor and, and like i say that all shucks uh you know nah, i'm just i'm just doing what i think is the right thing and then it becomes like your the mantra one of the mantras of the firm do the right thing right um uh, it, it's an imprint, right, that, that has made it uh, all the way through the entire firm. I just had a conversation with Jim not too long ago, kind of with regards to this, and was very left with uh, even greater admiration for him. A lot of the decisions that he made on, made with the company early on, kind of really went against the core of his beliefs, but the reason he did it is because it benefited the firm and benefited the organization and he made those decisions based strictly on that fact. When you look back and it's like oh man he was he was ahead of his time I mean he was he, he was thinking of things that you know people couldn't see at that time and then a few years down the road when you get there you say oh ah now I know wh what he was thinking or why he was thinking what he was thinking. His, his foresight, uh, his business acumen it's, uh, it's, it's has done has done really help help the firm get where, where it is today. I love working with Jim Russ. Um, he will give me challenges. He will tell me, you know, hey, I want to I want to uh, like show off what the company's abilities are to this commissioner, um, and it's a project that is out of my normal realm, and so it just makes it more interesting. Um, I'm able to. 
uh, show off. He loves what I what I do, so he loves that I can give him kind of the that uh, that that sizzle, that dazzle. You know, Jim and I work well together. Jim Jim just gives you that he gives you that sense of you can do it, and it's motivating at times. He was always that guy when when going around the office, you know, a long time ago of being able to say hi to every person in the office, shake their hand, say good morning. He's he's definitely that person that'll be the first to wish you happy birthday, to wish you happy anniversary, and, and never try never to forget a name. Um, we've grown so much that sometimes that gets difficult. He'll remember your kids' names. He'll remember that you went on vacation to this place last year. It, it's absolutely amazing. But that quality really makes it able. You can talk to Jim and you know he's being real with you. He looks you in the eye. And I think it just it's this incredible sales tool for for what EHRA is. The firm EHRA name is, is, is and, and Jim Russ are pretty much synonymous. He has done, he has done really a great job of of brand in the firm. Jim has a reputation out there in our industry that he's everywhere. And I don't, you know, even though, yeah, he and I are both getting older, that he still is seen everywhere and actively participates in the things that he's in. And that has certainly set the stage for our, you know, let's say our next course on how we're going to evolve. I would say that Jim's contribution to this firm over these 25 years is nothing short of knowing practically everyone in the entire region. There's, there's really nobody out there that doesn't know who Jim Russ is. And every time I go out there to represent the brand, it's always, hey, Jared, it's good to see you. And tell Jim I said hello. <laughs> He's got the most incredible Rolodex. He knows every elected in probably the five county area. And he works like a Trojan, oh my gosh. That guy's up here at the crack of Yang in the morning and doesn't go home till, you know, 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night. He's pretty much working 24-7. I don't know that he sleeps. Always in the office, maybe sleeping in the office at times, I've heard. Never seen him, but <laughs> married to his work. <laughs> that was his second life. I call him a controlled insomnia uh, because he, he can get by with like three hours of sleep, no problem. I don't see how he does it. That guy's here at all hours all the time uh, so he sets that example as one you know even though he preaches don't don't follow what I do he's the first person in the last person out and that's just a that's a work ethic that it's like no other if I had to use one word to describe Jim it would be hardworking impactful I, mean, I think he's been very impactful on you know not just people uh, that have come through these walls but in other parts of our industry other engineering firms, other consultants. If I was going to pick one word to describe Jim would be dedicated. He is so fully invested in the organization and its folks here. He's such a genuine guy, right? And and so he just is who he is. And, and when you take it at that and you realize how he is just endearing to everybody he meets, you kind of go, man, this is a guy I want to be around. I don't know if I've ever met anyone that is more fair than Jim Russ. He is always thinking about the team member first, you know, uh, asking the questions from their perspective and uh, what can we do to make their situations better. Jim is the type of person that's, that's very unselfish. He'll give you the shirt off his back. And, you know, he'll tell you that you know, his purpose on earth is to serve others, but he, he he motivates and pushes you, and, and to that extent, that makes me a better person, that makes the team a better person, and um, it, it helps us all grow, grow stronger together. Him and Schumann have done just a, a fantastic job. I wish I had found them earlier. That's my only regret is I wish I had found EHRA earlier in my career. I don't know of anyone that considers Jim an enemy. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone, everyone loves and respects him. He's not just a cousin. He's the most outstanding business partner anyone could have.